Okay, so here's the first problem I'm going to solve for you. Um, what I recommend is that um, you pause the video, replay it whenever you need to, if you need me to repeat something. Um, and if you can, work ahead and then play the video, see how I solved it compared to how you solved it. All right. Um, I'm going to use the guess method to solve this problem. All right. So what I did here was I highlighted all the givens, the G part of the guess method. All right, um, an athlete trains by dragging a horizontal load across a rough horizontal surface. So it's rough too, so that means I probably should have highlighted that there. I'm gonna go ahead and um, do that here. Okay, there is some friction involved, all right? So it's important that we know that it's rough, all right? The athlete exerts a force of magnitude F on the load at an angle of 25 degrees to the horizontal. All right, so the, the guy isn't pulling straight across, he's, he's lifting on it a little bit. All right, once the load is moving at a steady speed, the average horizontal force acting on the load is 470 newtons. All right, um, I'm going to use the, the blue that I've highlighted to solve for the U here, the unknown. All right, so um, the unknown is that I need to calculate the average value of F that will enable the load to move at a constant speed. In other words, I need to calculate the, um, at the this resultant vector F that um, has a horizontal component of 470 newtons. All right. So um, when I evaluate the problem here, E, evaluate, um, I'm going to use cosine of theta, cosine of the angle, is equal to adjacent Okay, this is the adjacent side over the hypotenuse, which is the force. All right, everyone, take a look at that there. And um, before I plug in any numbers here, I want to manipulate this. Okay, I have to solve for the hypotenuse. So um, what I'm going to do up here is I'm going to multiply both sides by hypotenuse. All right, times. Oh, got to change back to red because I'm on the evaluate step here. Okay, multiply this by the hypotenuse. Okay, times hypotenuse. Hypotenuse times cosine of theta. Okay, over here I can cancel out both hypotenuse. Okay. So what I end up here with is hypotenuse times cosine of theta. Uh, that is theta. It doesn't really look like it. Sorry. My handwriting here is not that great. Equals adjacent. Okay. Now I divide both sides by cosine of theta. Okay. Divided by cosine of theta. Okay. What I end up with here is hypotenuse equals the adjacent divided by cosine of theta. And theta is my angle. I'm going to plug in a number for that in a minute, but I want to solve it. I want to, when I evaluate it, I'm solving for it. The, but just using the variables and not plugging in any numbers yet. So down here, I'm going to start plugging in numbers. Okay, the hypotenuse was force, right? So um, by the way, this is the solve step. Okay, I'm going to keep that in red just because I like these three colors that I'm using. So for solve, the hypotenuse is equal to F. So force is equal to the adjacent side, which is 470 newtons. divided by cosine of 25 degrees, okay? Plugged in my angle here, 25 degrees. And when I solve for that, F equals, right now you might want to stop the video and plug in these numbers and calculate. Um, one thing to watch out for here is you got to make sure that your calculator is on degrees and not radians. 
That's a common mistake, all right? Um, but when you calculate that out, you should get it 518.5 newtons, okay? And um, I'm going to round this to 520 newtons, okay? Five hundred eighteen or five hundred and twenty works. All right, um, doesn't really matter which you choose. Um, so for significant figures, the load um, is four hundred and seventy. So we can have three significant figures in the answer. They're not too worried about the angle. So um, the the only measurement here was the four hundred and seventy newtons. Okay, um, if I for the last step on here solve. Uh, I'm not going to write it, but um, I'm just going to tell you what, what the answer would be. So for my final sentence where I, where I actually give the, the answer, um, the athlete is pulling with a force of 570 newtons. Or sorry, 520 newtons. All right. See you later in the next video. Oops.